When you put your patient on capnography, you're gonna get a waveform and you're gonna get an end tidal CO2 number. Of course, you're also gonna get a respiratory rate, but I'm pretty sure you got that handled. So waveform versus number. The nice thing about capnography is it is a full assessment tool from airway patency to breathing, quality of your patient's breathing, circulatory status, even metabolic. So which does which? The waveform, the shape of the waveform is airway patency. So the shape of the waveform is the shape of the airway, or the shape of the airway is the shape of the waveform. If my patient has a box when they breathe, whether it's a tiny box because of the end tidal CO2 7 or a huge box because of the end tidal CO2 70, a box tells me the breath is patent, period. Now, moving on from there, quality of the patient's breathing, circulatory status, metabolic status, that's all understanding the number for your patient. We talked earlier in a different video about PaCO2 versus end tidal CO2. PaCO2 is the pressure of CO2 in the body, end tidal CO2 is the pressure we're measuring at the lips. If your patient's poorly ventilated, blood's coming into the lungs, but that breath can't get out at normal rates, so pressures build and build and build. So, 35 to 45 is a little bit of a misnomer. That is a normal end tidal CO2 for someone who's healthy. We know that patients who are sick are not going to be within 35 to 45. Just like uh, we're not expecting an asthma patient to have a respiratory rate between 12 and 20. It's gonna be elevated. So what is the norm for a respiratory patient? Numbers should be high, that's the norm. Why? Because the PaCO2 is climbing and we want that end tidal CO2 to mirror the PaCO2. So if I go on Mrs. Smith who can't breathe, she should have an end tidal CO2 over 50. That's the norm for a respiratory patient because that's what's happening in the body. If I go on a respiratory patient who is not following those rules, we're gonna talk in a different video about what our rule outs. The first rule out in a sick respiratory patient would be a tidal volume issue. We're getting the blood delivered to the lungs, but maybe we're not getting breath delivered through the lungs because they're shrinking, they're fatiguing, and everything's shutting down. So the waveform tells you airway patency. The number tells you quality of the system, whether it's breathing, circulatory, or metabolic.